Hello and welcome everybody, this is in Blender. So in this tutorial we got something new, so we are gonna make a walking stick, a vintage one, uh, with all these cool features and everything. Um, this is some a tutorial, short ones gonna be, so let's just start. So this we can file new and you know don't save it because I know how to do it and you will too in just a minute so uh, I just got the dimensions of a walking stick right here so we could work on a real world scale so I shift a mesh and cylinder so on the cylinders tab just copy this stuff um, just go with eight loop cuts we don't want much okay sorry so if you accidentally press anything uh, you could just press F9 and it will come back up like this this is some trick I have learned I guess from uh, Blender Secrets I don't know it's an Instagram channel just go and check it out and this gotta be one meter and we are good to go so now the first thing you'll notice is the view isn't right it's clipping or something like this so you just gotta go to the view and you know clip start make it as low as possible now we could have something to work with so first we gotta do is move this up so we just gotta move it by 0.5 so it goes up like this now we have you know a walking stick right now so the next thing we are gonna do is um, start modeling so here are some of the references I got this this you know something like this but uh, we'll merely go with this one so let's just start with the top part right now because the bottom part is just a stick so if we go right here so we just gotta move it this down a little bit up to here and we just gotta you know add right add the rest of it so uh, we are going to be insetting this and extruding this so we could have something that this top part is going to be fixing it's going to be a bolt but we are not modeling that because it's, it's just a waste of time for this so shift d let's duplicate this and make it a separate object by pressing p so now we have this after this so let's just scale it a little bit down and extrude it like this good so now we are going to extrude again like this i think this is a little bit tall so like this and just going up by modeling this so something we can do right here is add a uv sphere in the edit mode and change this segment to eight and this two to eight now we have this so we don't have to you know worry ourselves by modeling that part so just go right there like this linked and scale it a bit more and select the top part enable proportional editing by smooth so now we could just do this but first let's just hit connect it only so it doesn't affect the bottom part let's just do it like this and select this bottom part and move it somewhere about this we just want the basic stuff to mo start modeling this so just hit ctrl plus and you know grow the selection then delete these vertices like this now if we could just right click loop tools and bridge to do this and if you don't have a loop tools add-on enabled so you won't see that feature so just go ahead to the add-ons and enable the loop tools here loop tools just enable this okay so let's just see now we just go continue modeling disable this proportional editing and just give it a flow as you want so this is kind of what we want i think this part is still tall very very tall so we'll just go right this and scale it a little bit up i'll add a loop cut right here i don't know something like this should be fine 
let's just go right there so I just right click and shade it smooth and just go here and add a bevel modifier and change the angle way up till about 56 till about 60 I don't know something like that should work and add a alt you go here and enable wireframe to see what is going on so I'll just decrease this like this somewhere about here like this and add a I'll just type the number right there just go right here so this is fine for all purposes so let's just go ahead and add a subdivision surface to give us that look that nice look so I just noticed that this is um, way much way like this something um, like this you know I don't know I think we should just go ahead and uh, I don't know this this is fine let's just go with this this is fine and still this thing is tall and disable the proportional thing and let's just go right there good now we have this which you can just copy the modifiers click this and select this control c okay preferences and we haven't enabled the copy attributes add-on let's just enable that and now control c we can see this and just hit modifiers now we have this on the bottom part too if you shade smooth you could see this happening so now you, this white part is because you know we don't have enough geometry so stretching and stuff you could just go to the normals and you know add this but this is gonna you know ruin this part so we could just add more topology to work with so i'll just add this i'll just add um five of these so that should you know probably fix that problem and add one more around here and add one more around here you know something like that so if we could just scale this up um, mean like scale it up more so we could have some variation so like this this part's got to be a little bit more wider at least that's what it looks like in the references and this part is of course smaller and i'll just enable proportional editing so that affects yeah scale it shift z so it doesn't affect the z axis so we could just get scale it shift d and we could get this something like this so just put this up like this now good so we could add some more stuff down there so let's just put this scatter it like this extrude it in the z-axis extrude it again disable the proportionality thing if you haven't done it already and you know control b for this good now we have the bottom part too so what else don't move it just around there so what else we need we need to separate these i forgot about those but i don't think that is super necessary um just lower the bevel like this or something so we could get something like this yeah that's it is not necessary so let's just go so we are done with the modeling i would say just kill this in the scale in the shift d like this so we don't have you know some weird stuff happening but so i'll just go with it already i think this is a little bit flattened out just go right there enable this and you know give it some love right there 
something like this. Why is this so hard? Um, I could swear, like I, I got it like my first time, the last time I was doing this. I think this is the issue. Okay, not even gonna worry about this. Hey, we got it. I think so. Or I don't know. Yeah, we could just leave it alone. This is so this good. This good. We could we could work with this. So I think this is way much. And this too. We this gotta go. This gotta go. This gotta go like this. Something like this, you know. Okay, now we got it. Now we got it. It's it was this one. So we have this. Um. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Mm, this is good. Okay, now to the shading. But first, we gotta do some, you know, UV. Yeah, I think, of course. So again, we shall view and clip start and stuff. So we what we want to do is select this part and you mark seam. And I have made the mark seam. Control Shift C as a shortcut. If you want to do that, right click and add shortcut will come up. So another one on the top. So I'll just. I select this one and select this control shift C so we have this and you unwrap this now we have something that looks like this so it's not the prettiest thing ever so just click this and do this and just go right there and select this so now control shift C A U unwrap now we have something that looks like this so this is perfect um, let's just go right here and deal with this one too. Um, this should not take too much. So, A U, what did I press? A U, unwrap this. Mm, not exactly. I'm just going to U, mark seam, and U, you unwrap this again. Now, this, this should work. It will work, not just shit. Um, but I forgot to add this part right here. Extrude it, scale it down like this, extrude it into the z-axis and fill it. We don't even care if it's UV or not. We just care that we have this. So, shading. Now let's just have some fun. But first, add enable some stuff like this. Bloom, everything, you know. Just gonna end up making it look better so I'll make this too so add a new one so in this one we are going to be adding a pattern on it so first just let me just go with the easy part first new hold this wood control shift T but first you gotta enable the node wrangler add-on this one control shift T and Hit. I'll just go where my textures are and where the wood and yeah, for, forget my naming, you know, just use this and boom, we have this. I think this is too much, so I'll just change this to three so we have something that looks like this. And I know this is. This brown stick, I don't like it, so I am more into this vintage look, so we'll change that too. But first, delete the displacement shift, shift S, uh, and add a bump node. Plug this here and plug this in the height and decrease this so we don't have that much going on. And that uh, hue and saturation node, decrease the saturation like this decrease the value and decrease the saturation like this so we have this 
classic wood looking thing here and let's just tackle this while we add it so we'll just view and I'm selected the zoom is getting weird so let's just tackle this while we add it so this is going to be something that is rubber or something I don't know um, like this yeah so just new new assign this new material make this color uh, something like this roughness give it up and we could work with this but if you want to add some more detail if this part is going to be shown more just add uh, this and add just a bump just add a noise like this bump and you know, we just plug this here so because this is a rubber and this the same thing happening right here too um noise scale it like this details um something like this control t to give us the object simple lug it here and plug this one in the normals way up the, this part now if we click here by decreasing this let's just wait for these to have it's fun okay now just give it a little bit of this just a little bit so we could see it and now shift the space color ramp um, okay we don't want you there just don't just plug yourself anywhere you want color ramp come on okay we are back in business if this thing just finished loading I don't know why but these days when I add a normal map this just goes haywire um, roughness I'll just cut the normal map for a second so we could work in peace come on yeah we just cut the normal map like this and um yeah so this part shall be like this something like this i don't know you know the rubber feeling we get it's like it's something like this i guess so now if you plug it back um plug it back we get our wow so no don't I, using noise texture with bump is something just uses me more for some reason i don't know but this is good let's just go back to the top and to the main course so i'll just click here control um control t i guess add a image and i'll just open a new one um i don't know where to put it i think it's on youtube somewhere here so um i'll just go to the studio youtube and add um 20 uh, yeah here so just find some vintage stuff so just add some vintage stuff um whatever it is no one cares so just add whatever image you want from google or something so you get this so just add a color ramp what's this color ramp here no shift space color ramp you know what they say the third time is what was the one they say okay just forget me and add a bump map in here and you know so now let's just add um so we have this it's plugged in here something like this okay and it's plugged in the bumps hate so we just go right here 
now we get something like this but we gotta flip it because it's the wrong way so we have something like this good so now we gotta go add a mix RGB and click this here go something about I don't know let's just add the metallic in so we have something to work with just decrease the strength of this one this looks good already but I think with the goldish color this gotta be better I think I don't know something like this let's see how yeah I don't know I'm not sure something like this let's just copy this to both of these just to add a color variation in these I'll just saturate the one more desaturate one of its more and add a noise texture don't just plug yourself in come on yeah let's just give it time and plug this in here so we have some variation in the color I guess you know just add more of these uh, details should help us get more of those realisms just you know just use this hmm. something like this okay we are good so the roughness is the next one just decrease the roughness to somewhere about this much doesn't really matter it's matters but you know add a color ramp right there don't plug yourself anywhere man okay now just plug it here so the noise should affect the roughness so we get more and more variations that a contrast of these so some parts are R so we decrease this it's not to not make it so shiny and we decrease this too to give it that more so you can't notice it but it gives us more of those realisms I don't know okay at least that's my take on this so we are good so now we don't want this pattern in here so I'll just add a shift space gradient gradient texture plug this here and put this like this and you know color ramp I guess always color ramp like this boom get some of those like this like this so in the math node like this and multiply it with these where is this this one now let's just multiply this multiply here we get something that looks like this now if we plug this one into the height and boom now we have no patterns in here so good so let's see it how it looks already in cycles render view so I'll just use some of the hdri from blender go down here to the films make this a transparent one Ooh, it's looking good yeah You can do whatever you want from now on you know just take it to substance painter and add whatever you want and this is my take in making it in blender uh, it looks good in many of the hdris i love this one it's cool and everything so I just use this one and you know increase these to see more patterns like this or something 
also thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and bye guys